Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Fallout 4, the gunless playthrough with uh, fancy Bayou Bob over here. We're uh, ready to uh, go on a little adventure, me and Bob, Bob and me, because uh, we're heading towards Ten Pines Bluff, which should be our first little settlement we're gonna help out. But because this is a, a pretty strange playthrough because we're not using any guns. If you hadn't noticed yet, we're gonna have to take a bit of a different route than you would normally do with a first playthrough because um, we're gonna head towards Tampines Bluff, but after that we're gonna take a bit of a longer route to get where we need to be. Um, we're without companion right now because I left dog meat at Sanctuary and uh, we're gonna have to see what we can do with this lovely upgraded baseball bat. So now it's a chain wrap baseball bat, which would do, should do some uh, solid damage. So uh, let's get going. Ooh. So the last time we came here, there was just a few bodies and a few frag mines, but it seems like, yeah, there's definitely someone here now. Would that be a trader? Would this guy be happy to sell me anything? Boy, you may want to keep your distance. Uh, keep my distance? I'm I'm friendly. I'm just don't worry, Bob. I'm not gonna hurt you. Look at his oh, lovely I'm face. I'm not worried about that. It's just, well, I think I ate a bad can of meat. Okay, then. It's got my guts all in a twist, and well, you can probably smell it from there. Long neck Lukowski's canned meat, my ass. Long neck Lukowski's can't poison more. Like ah, okay. This ties yeah, into one of a uh, yeah, if, in one of the side quests. Yeah, okay. Assuming I live through the day. So there's somebody selling everyone yeah, bad meat. Lukowski? Tell him I hope he dies in a goddamn fire. Yeah, you're uh, you're goddamn right. Uh, sorry. Probably better if you get going. If it's anything like last time, it's about to get kind of messy. Okay, that's too 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 much information, dude. Seriously, too much information. Okay, let's just uh, keep going then towards Ten Pines Bluff. That that was that was a very weird conversation I just had with that man. So we're passing by the quarry. Uh, there's a side quest over there, but I'm not gonna do that because it involves mire lurks, and at this level, I don't really want to be yeah dealing with mire lurks right now. So. Let's just keep going and head to uh, Ten Pines Bluff. There we go. Ticket excavations. We don't really want to mess with that. Oh, there's a rat stag over. Oh, what? Oh, Jesus. What the hell? These normally don't attack. Okay. Those are usually docile. You, you, you go into danger because of them, but what the hell is that thing doing? I'm just going to have to whack it just. Oh, oh, God. Ow, bloat flies. Where's the other one? Is that... Wait. We haven't checked out Blitz yet, because I think I got that melee kill in there, because I have Blitz um, as my skill, so I can do vats from a longer distance with melee. That did a lot of rad damage, by the way. Don't forget the meat of the bloat flies, if they have any, because that might actually come in handy. And then let's just whack the rat stag though anyway. Ooh, yep. Yep, give me some meat. Oh, and we teleported just right up to its ass again. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't really get away. That's... I wonder how far Blitz actually works, because that's interesting. Okay. Seems to be a bit of a campfire over here. So there's a... Jesus, bloat flies and white mongrels, but nothing... Ooh, those are actually filled Nuka-Colas. Don't mind if I do, because Bob likes a drink, even though it hasn't doesn't have any alcohol in it. That was dirty water. Even that's pretty great, because you can turn three dirty waters into a purified one. So there's a few wild mongrels in this... Well, it's not really a scrapyard, but in those uh, things over there. But yeah, we're almost at Tempines Bluff, so that should be fine. So yeah, I think we should be fine to just start sprinting to over here. And there we go, Ten Pines Bluff. Let's put our weapon... That's gunfire. Let's just put our weapon away. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, so he's always angry at us. Hello! Hey. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. 
Uh, no, no, no trouble. Are you, uh, yeah, let's put it sarcastically. If I told you I'm with the Minutemen, would you still want to shoot me? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days. After Quincy. Bad business, that. So yeah, Preston already talked about Quincy, that they were going, well, they were staying over there and then got brutally murdered by some people. Uh, but yeah, you want help or not? Do you want my help or should I be on my way? Don't get the wrong idea. I'm damn glad you're here. Ah, you this are. I did get the wrong idea. For weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Okay, so uh, I'll take care of them. Don't worry, I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. So kill the raiders at the Corvega assembly plant. I'm actually wondering, can I actually see Corvega from here? It's gonna be hard, I think. Corvega is... Oh yeah, I can see it. That building, that industrial looking building, that's Corvega. So normally you would go in a straight line over there, but we're gonna do a bit of a detour to the edge of the map over there to try and get to it to... Well, along the sides, because there's a... Yeah, we could go through Lexington, but that's going to be a bit uh, difficult for this build. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can take a different route. While we're, he we're here, I'm also going to take a few of their tatoes, so their tomatoes. Um, just so that I can plant them in uh, Sanctuary and finish up that quest. So we'll quickly head back and forth between Sanctuary and here. And uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, I'm still at Tampines Bluff, but it's, suddenly I'm being... Ow! Oh, rad roaches. Okay, let's just... There we go. And let's just whack them all three. One, two, three. I just wanted to take a nap. And Idiot Savant picks up. Just wanted to take a quick nap before we head towards Sanctuary, but that was not uh, given to me. I didn't realize there were rad roaches spawning over here. Where's the third one? Ah, there we go. So that's just, yeah, just a second. There we go. So there we go. A bit of a Tato farm right over here behind our workbenches. Now, I think that should complete the food quest in Sanctuary. I just put uh, Sturgis on the food duty, by the way. So he's now a farmer instead of a mechanic. Hello, Sturgis. Now this place is starting to feel like home. What we need is to get some defenses set up then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. So there we go. Food, beds, water complete, but now we need to build defenses. But we actually have built a lot of defenses already, so uh, I've done enough. Seems like I've done enough for you already. I thought you wanted to help. Oh, wait, that's not, wait, hey, that's not what I wanted to do. That. Feels good. Yes, indeed. So um, that's a bit of the problem of this conversation uh, system, because the little words don't actually always well, show you immediately what you're actually gonna say, because I was actually just saying that I'm, I'm, I've already done the, the defenses. But yeah, I, it came out really, really aggressive for some uh, for some reason. So uh, glad to help. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. Yes, indeed, Sturgis. You said. Did I just get Idiot Savant on the Sanctuary quest as well? Okay, there goes the experience bar, bar again. Still going. Still going. Still going. Are we going to... No, okay. One, one and a half level from, from just doing that, which is great. And that also means we get another skill point to, well, perk to choose. So uh, let's do that. So there's still a lot of interesting things we can choose from. Uh, Idiot Savant 2 is only unlocked at level 11, so we don't need to look at that. But the in most interesting one, I think, for now is actually we already have access to Big Leaks 2, which adds another 20% more melee weapon damage, and we gain a chance to disarm our opponent by just whacking the weapon out of their hands. So that seems like the most reasonable choice right now. So Big Leaks 2 it is. That also means that our, our baseball bat, our chain wrapped aluminium baseball bat, now does 55 damage, which is uh, really, really nice. And the serrated switchblade is up to 28. So, uh, yeah, very, very nice. 
So with all that done in Sanctuary, we're passing the Dead Deathclaw in uh, Concord and we're gonna start from here and move our way to the southwest kind of, uh, discovering a few buildings along the way and then we'll eventually end up over there at Corvega. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when anything interesting happens. First thing, over here is a shack with two feral ghouls. We haven't seen ghouls yet, but yeah, people who have been exposed to radiation for a long time actually become immortal and turn into yeah just let's just call them by their name they're just zombies i think i can easily how far this wow blitz actually works from this distance as well i think with a sneak attack i can do both of them but just in case that doesn't work let's just do oh blood fly no okay let's just do it like this bam sneak attack bam sneak attack okay that was great and back to hidden. Seems like we're back to hidden. The brackets. Oh, we're shuffling. Yeah, there's one over there. That's even true with three. Is that a sneak attack? Yeah, another sneak attack. Okay. That was pretty easy. We really need to get... They don't really have a lot of good loot usually, but... Oh, there's still more. The brackets are still shuffling. Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay, so this... Let's see how far Blitz works, actually. A bit closer... Yeah, this seems to be the closest I can get. Anything else? No. But this is a house. Um, so let's get... Yeah, brilliant powers of deduction, by the way. Yes, this is a house, Finny. This is a house. Anyone in here? Seems like there's another ghoul on the floor there. Yeah, this, let's not just take any chances. I'm, ooh, hi, that's a close-up of your face. Nope, didn't really, didn't really need that. Um, ooh, bourbon bottle, but it's empty. That is, that's too bad. T too bad, because, yeah, Bob really, really has a bit of an alcohol problem. Um, he would really like to craft some booze, but I don't think we can actually make booze. We can make more drugs, though. Psychojet, here we go. But since this is the only thing here, the chemistry station kind of makes me think that this is actually a, a drug dealer lair. Although, there's a root cellar. Is this place going to be filled with ghouls? Brackets are shuffling. The game is playing Hello, You Found Something music. Don't see anything yet. Ghoul in the bathtub? No. A bit of ammo, which is good to sell, of course. But it seems like there's a tunnel over here. I mean, there were ghouls outside. I can't imagine Raiders using this kind of system. And there's pipes running along here. What the hell? I don't... I don't think I've ever been in here. Which is silly, because it's pretty close to where you start the game. Wayne Gorski, a named ghoul. Let's just whack him to hell. Oh, there we go, sneak attack. How many rats? Oh, do 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 do. Yeah, I'm taking rat damage because of the, the barrels. I think I might pop a rat axe and see what happens. So, rat axe to reduce the amount of rats we're getting. We're getting one, so I'm gonna have to move. A bottle cap mine, that is really, really good. And then the Wasteland Survival Guide. Diamond City is now permanently marked on your map. Does that mean I can actually fast travel there immediately? That is cool. Um, mini nuke stabilizer fins. That's an item I've never heard before. of before. Mini nuke hemisphere core, mini nuke detonator shell, mini nuke beryllium cap, and another beryllium cap. That's... Spe specific loot for this area, I suppose. I'm taking a lot of rad damage. And then, of course, at the end, there's this... Um, let's punt that out of the way. A personal terminal. Oh, so apparently Wayne Gorski was a terrorist. So I identify myself as a free-thinking citizen of these once great United States. Uh, he thinks the electrical tower in his lawn was a mind control device, and therefore he was constructing a nuke to, well, fight against the government. So, uh, let all true patriots know what that what I do. I do of my own free will and for the good of my country. That's a, an interesting little, uh, yeah, interesting little side story. So that's why there's uh, components for a mini nuke in that, uh, in that room. Yeah, okay, but that's all there is in this, uh, in this area. So let's get back outside. So yeah, a lone wolf terrorist, which is very interesting because yeah, they all, I, I love how, how Bethesda always does that in all of the RPGs. Every little area has its own story. 
There's a bloat fly over there on the tree freaking out. I'm just gonna leave it over there. I just wanna head towards the lake. Is that gunfire again? That thing doesn't seem to be marked on the map, so that has actually piqued my curiosity. So yeah, there's definitely radius inside of there. So there's one radius firing from above. I might actually be able to sneak inside. I don't think Blitz works vertically. So he's just standing over there. Could just toss a grenade. Ooh, toss a grenade in there. Does seem like to be... No, there's one upstairs and one down below sleeping. Oh, wait, what? Did that just say I could... Yep, I could. Ooh, that's a lovely animation. Oh, there we go. Oh, stop, stop attacking, stop attacking. That was a lovely animation. Just one hand at that bad boy. Yeah, don't get up. Don't bother getting up. Thank you. <laughs> that looked silly. Oh, where did that guy go, actually? Because I, I whacked him in the face, but then he... He... Where, where? Oh, there he is. Well, there she is, rather. So yeah, just a bit of rad away. Doesn't seem like there's anything else of interest here. Just quickly took a nap on the mattress over there. What the hell? Oh, he was... Oh, he was doing target practice. Oh, or not. No, he was doing... Oh, he was doing target practice on a Sattler. That is not so... Compensated Hair Trigger Pipe Pistol. That's a long name for something really crappy. And more rat teeth. Well, let's get that at least. Ooh, they, ooh, yeah, he was just executing. He even lost his leg, this guy. Well, good riddance, I suppose. Let's head to down there, because uh, it already popped the message for Walden Pond. And now I need to be careful, because I know there's something I want to get here, but I need to get underneath the pond. There's an entryway over there in the tube, and there's a nest in the middle of the pond as well, but... I think I need to just get into the building over there. So the brackets aren't even shuffling. I thought there were always raiders inside of the house, but apparently not. I'm actually going to activate this as well, because this is really funny. Hello, and welcome to Walden Pond. So this thing just gives you a complete explanation about Walden Pond. I'm just going to activate it. Because, uh... Ooh. Okay. Henry David Thoreau. And I think he has booze. Yes! Bourbon! Finally, Bayou Bob can get his liquor on. Just gonna... Keep, ooh, winter jacket and jeans. Let's just take that. I'm gonna ignore the uh, automated tour, but... Enter this building instead. I need to be careful, because... I think there's traps inside of this place. Yeah, there's like this... That, that monkey, I think, is gonna... This set, up, set off some traps. So I think the monkey works as an enemy. Ooh, whiskey! Yes! Finally, booze! Yeah, there's definitely a mine, a bomb over there. Let's disarm that. There we go, that's another one down, and then... There we go. I think they all must be triggered by the monkey. If I can get to the monkey without... ...fucking this up, I don't know if there's any more mines. There we go. Bye, monkey. 26 bottle caps in the register. That was nice. And there's a combat knife. Ooh. Thank you. And then a note to Tweez. Tweez, if you're reading this, then you're an, then you're an idiot. This is the last time I tell you we're locking this door. Use the entrance in the sewer pipe. Next time you forget, I'm locking your ass out permanently. Walter. I'm just gonna leave that on the wall there, because it keeps sticking on the wall even though I took the combat knife. But combat knife, that's a new weapon. So combat knife is... A, why am I... wait. 64. Why is my damage so high right now? Because I checked those out after I took Big Leaks 2, right? I think I did. Well, anyway, they're doing really, really good right now. 64 damage. So the combat knife is base 21, which is nothing compared to the switchblade right now. But uh, we'll see really soon how we can uh, actually upgrade that. So... Another addition to our melee roster. So down into the dirty water, open up the drainage pipe. I was kind of afraid of this area because there's a, a few wide open uh, rooms in here. No, 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 no. 
Okay, so opening up the the Pip Boy stops the drinking animation. Just wanted to pick up the aluminum cans. So this is supposed to be a raid hideout since we read the note already. So yeah, we're getting into the open areas. There's two E's. So these guys, I think I'm gonna try out a grenade on these guys. I actually don't have any grenades, so Molotov cocktail it is. Over there in the middle somewhere. Ooh, I actually killed. Did I kill both of them with the Molotov? Ooh, I like demolitions expert, because those guys, I don't even, I didn't even check their levels, but that should have been harder. Because he's a named character. Ooh. I am deeply sorry, bear. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I really want from you. So they were talking about the what the automated tour is telling everybody if you push the button. Um, just that, that, yeah, the Toro guy was a really interesting man. I don't think I'll be able to sleep in this back because there's enemies nearby. So, ooh. So yeah, if we could use guns, this would be your first short hunting rifle, probably. And that a stealth boy. That might actually be interesting because that makes me invisible for a, a bit. I'm actually going to try a bit. Ooh, I can. Don't mind if I do then. And they drank all the beer. God damn you raiders. Past the can chimes. And I think there's one more named character in here. Ooh. Hi Walter. Walter and Whiplash. I think I can kill you with one sneak attack. But just to be sure. One. Two. Sneak attacks. That was yeah. Whiplash. Kind of got a whiplash there. <laughs> this is fun. And I got my Molotov back. Ooh, and there's a lot of boo strewn around. And then we have the safe we can open up with the gift shop key. And that has duct tape, ooh, grenade, and mine. Ooh, economy wonder glue. We need that adhesive really, 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 really badly. And a lot. Oh, yes, I totally forgot about this. This. It's amazing. So Big Jim, a legendary variant of the pipe wrench. So 30 damage, but 20% chance to cripple the target's leg. So that's 30 base, which means we can still upgrade that. That is a very nice find for this build. And then, ooh, there's a bottle cap mine. And then a bolt at lunchbox. Ooh, doot doot. Souvenir magnet flower. Thank you very much. And then the lunchbox, we can make that into more bottle cap mines. Graduated cylinder. I've never seen that before. Graduated cylinder, just glass. Yeah, I don't really need that, so let's drop that. Just uh, swapped Big Jim out for the tire iron, so uh, we can now use Big Jim right over here. Look at that, just good at crippling. Ooh, there's another chat over here into the... Why did they put a beer bottle in the extinguisher slot? That is just silly. But yeah, we got our first legendary from that, which is really, really nice. And then we loop around back into the gift shop. There we go. And when we come outside, there's a lovely day starting. That is really, really nicely. Um, I think I'm going to quickly nip back to Sanctuary. Just to see what we can do uh, upgrade-wise with these weapons. Because, yeah, we found Big Jim and we found the combat knife. So that might actually be really, really nice. So, back in Sanctuary, the weapons workbench. Nice job with those defenses. Big Jim, standard 30. We can go to hooked 38. Heavy 45 and puncturing, which is the same as heavy but armor piercing. The hook is chances to disarm, but I already have that with big leaks too. So let's, 45 is actually really nice for puncturing. So let's build that. And then the combat knife can go to serrated, which goes to 35, which is a bit better than the switch blade, but not, not incredibly. Then we could go for stealth blade as well, which increases the damage from sneak attacks, but we need blacksmith too. But yeah, with the bleed, that might actually be really cool. Bleed damage and exceptional damage and fast. So that's, that might actually be good instead of the switchblade. So we don't need the switchblade and the um, tire iron anymore. So let's just leave them over here. So back at Walden Pond, there's one more thing I want to actually visit. One area I need to visit right here, which is a bit more to the west. And then we'll loop back and follow the bridge up to Corvega. So next up is Sunshine Tidings, this lovely place. There's one particular item that I really, really want, just because it's very handy to have early on. And uh, there's a few more ghouls I can clear out and make this actually into a settlement. So Sunshine Tidings Co-op. 
Uh, and I think it's in one of the far back houses, but I don't think it might hurt to just clear everything out here. Improvised toilet, by the way. And probably the best character, one of the coolest characters in the game, so this guy. This is uh, a Mr. Handy, but he's called Professor Goodfields, and he's kind of high off his rocks. Far out, so yeah. Ooh, military fatigues. Wait, doesn't that... Agility plus two, that is... Yeah, definitely military fatigues, because that also just counts as... Uh, yeah, look at that, that is just lovely. Yeah, he kind of looks more like the military man he was, uh... Well, according to the game, but by your bob, I think he kind of skipped military duty. Everybody thinks he went to the military, but I don't... I feel like he didn't. Because, yeah, you would think that he learned to use a gun in the military, and he, he clearly doesn't like guns. Open up the door, and then we have one feral... Who's sleeping right next to a dead settler. Just gonna take a look around. Yeah, that one is alive as well, so let's... Go in. And just kill both of them. There we go. And there we go. Whew. Okay. Very, very dramatic animation, but down he goes. Is it, isn't it in this house? Nope, definitely not. Oh, yeah, there it is. Wasteland Survival Guide. There we go. Permanently collect extra meat from animal kills, which means that every every uh, enemy, like rat roaches and everything, that, that actually contains one meat, will now contain two meat. Which is very, very nice. And a trunk. I'm gonna take the 10mm just to... Ooh, finally a leather chest piece. And a pocketed, girded leather left arm. Yeah, let's let's take all that. And equip the lightweight leather chest piece. Ooh, 5 AP extra. And a pocketed, girded leather left arm. So a bit more resilient than the one I have now. And extra carry weight, I think. Yeah, 5 extra carry weight. Look at that, we look absolutely uh, bulky in that outfit. Because yeah, the, the, the body armor actually looks pretty cool, the leather body armor. Bob is starting to accessorize and I kind of like it. So that only leaves the center building, which also houses a few ghouls, I think. I'm just gonna approach this from the side and then... No! Oh wait, is that one? No. Wait, if everything's dead, why didn't I get the pop-up that I can actually use this place now? Um, let's talk to uh, Professor Goodfields. Groovy. Groovy! Far out! Okay, yeah, he doesn't actually say anything else. Um, aha, I just needed to activate the workshop. That is great. Let me just set this up properly. So I can't turn this into a proper settlement just yet because I'm lacking the resources to make a recruitment beacon, but... Uh, there's one thing left to do here, which is the terminal. So here you have the explanation as to why the Mr. Handy is acting so weird. So Alan, we finally sprung a slave from the squares for our Freedom Farm co-op. A Mr. Handy from the Nadaville suburbs. The tin can wigged out trying to go back to his slave owners, almost clued the fuzz onto us. So Johnny noodled it out and zonked his motivation protocols to just be. Now we call him Professor Goodfields, just digging the world as it be, owing nothing to nobody. Careful with his other protocols, these cans knuckle creeps if they... What the hell? These cans knuckle creeps if they go ape. Jack. So yeah, that's why he sounds like a hippie. Because the people that... You can actually change what he does, but I like Professor Goodfields as he is. So uh, yeah, keep going happy, buddy. He actually doesn't have any weapons. So what were we doing? Corvega, that's right. Let's go there. And I just came across what looks like Car Stonehenge. This is weird. Who the hell did this? It's kind of cool looking, but yeah, doesn't seem to be anything here though. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I definitely want to stay clear of the bridge because there's apparently a whole bunch of gunners over there. Which makes me nervous because I need to cross the road here. I'm hoping they don't come along this far. Oh god, don't, don't, don't jump to your death. That would be a whole while back I needed to walk then. Just calm down. Yeah. Oh, I just found a little campsite, but there's a freaking bear, 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 bear around here. Oh god. Let's just bear that in mind and move the other way. Because I do not want to fight a bear right now with just a pointy pipe wrench. Oh, I know where we are. 
Yeah, I know where we are. We're at the, the train yard. What else? Oh, there, yeah, there's a bunch of feral ghouls there. Just gonna ignore those. There's a few raiders over there, which I can actually ambush if I want to. Let's do that! That sounds like fun! Let's just get the baseball bat to have more... Oh wait, am I disrupting something here? This looks like a graveyard. I might be about to kill a... Yeah, he's paying his respects to someone. Uh, maybe just let him be. Just slowly walk away so he doesn't notice me. And I'm, I'm by you, Bob. I'm a friendly man. I'm just gonna leave him alone. Bye, friendly raider. Sorry about your loss. Well, I'm hoping it's not related to the raiders over there in Corvega, because, yeah, I think I'm gonna murder all of those. Pardon my French. Ooh. That looks like a Nuka Cola Quantum up there. Oh, 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 I think I can get it by jumping. Yep, there we go. Nuka Cola Quantum. Wait, did I find one already? That's interesting. So that's 400 health immediately and all my action points back. Because, yeah, you need 100 action points. Oh, yeah, half of my action points back, which is really, really good. I also have a level up because of the rat roach I killed. Nothing immediately pressing. Um, I think I might just go for one point into Charisma because I want to go to Lone Wanderer eventually. Um, and later in the playthrough we'll go down Intelligence to get eventually Science at level 6. And yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be a while. Although Ninja is also very interesting. Let's go with Ninja for now. Because Ninja just boosts our sneak attacks, our melee sneak attacks, which are the only sneak attacks that actually matter, by times 4 instead of times 3, which can actually stack up really nicely. But now, Corvega, there's Raiders up top, but I can't reach them from here, so I'm gonna have to loop around. There's a few back entrances, which I might actually try and do, because I don't think, yeah, he's not gonna notice me, so it's... Getting darker because of the rainstorm, which might work might work in my favor. So I obviously can't do anything about the turret, although hold it off. I hit the turret. I hit the raider. The turret didn't take much damage from the from the Molotov, and yeah, I, I think. Oh, wait, I do have a grenade. Wait, 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 wait. One more grenade. Aim it up. Ooh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There goes the turret, which is good. I don't think, yeah, that other raider survived. Which means if they come over here, I don't think they see me just yet because I'm still in caution. Oh. He's coming this way. D didn't he? Is he, is he right? Yeah, he's on the other side. Yep, there we go. Hi. Oh, now we're in danger. I'm out of range, though. There's another one coming. Oh, he's over there behind the car. Get, get him. Ooh, he just got a shot off. Luckily, it's, it's a Tommy gun. So it's when do these guys... Yeah, because in VATS you have higher defense. A submachine gun. Well, why not? They boiled leather chest piece. So yeah, extra AP on my right arm can't hurt. And then the chest piece was boiled. So 5 and 12 versus 3 and 10. But I get 5 more AP. And the weight is double. Yeah, it's not, it's not worth it for now. Is, wasn't that all of them? Because I killed one with the Molotov. Slowly moving up. Corvega assembly plants discovered. And that may be third person camera. Does that work? Actually never tried that before. Wasn't there one here? No. So I could go through the front door, but that's probably not a good idea. Now that I think about it, I'm just gonna take the back entrance through the sewers. So there's a, a broken pipe here and there's even a railroad sign over here that marks a secret entrance. Okay, so in the pipes, Oh, and then we have ghouls, but I think those ghouls... Yeah, because there's a turret at the end of the pipes. Although this one doesn't seem interested. There we go. Ooh, I whacked his head. Oh, no. That looked like I whacked his head off. Ooh, military-grade duct tape. Third-person camera. 
loop it around. Yeah, there's a turret over there. Oh, I can actually hit it from here. Time for a critical, although let's just do this. Yeah, there we go, it's crit. Wow, that doesn't sound like it was very hidden. <laughs> Holy hell. Oh, wait, there used to be a, a raider here. Oh, there we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Because okay. there's more, more raiders in this place, of course. Stem pack, pocketed hardened raider, right arm, and that's pretty much it, okay. Telephone, thank you. Lonnie's terminal. So that must have been Lonnie then. Lexington is ours. Gristle and I each took teams and flushed some ghouls out of the apartment. So that's just the raider stating that they took down Lexington. Gristle and the boys almost got us killed the other day drinking down here, making all sorts of noises. And then of course the Yeah, the ghouls came in and then Jared still haven't gotten out gotten our other turret down here. Jared needs to get his head out of his ass. He's been pouring way too much time and caps into trying to figure out this side thing. When what we need to be doing is securing this place. Okay. Nothing all that much interesting. Wait, what, that, that sounded really close. Oh god, he's right there. He just didn't see me. Uh, whack! That was awesome. Oh, why does he do that twice every time he does that animation? I don't mind, but this guy's dead. So I don't think anyone's here anymore. Still in caution. And there's a very clueless raider coming in my direction. Hello! Oh, there's another one. Oh, they're just blind firing now. He's just running away now. Fine by me, although I would have liked to kill him. Because I only need to check out a few of the areas in here. Because I need to kill a specific raider, not every single one of them. And this large open area I would like to keep open. Who's oh god, hi! That is so comical if that happens when I can't kill someone. I must say this is a lot of fun, but usually these things do have... no. I thought those things usually have explosives. Not this time at least. So yeah, first really open area. Can't reach the radio from here. So I think one of them actually saw me. There's one down. Okay, I'm fine. That is amazing. Now I think I should be able to get... Okay, that was not what I wanted to do. Molotovs should be able to toss that in between... I killed one. Didn't kill the turret, of course, because turrets can actually handle fire. What? What's going on? Is he coming this way or not? Yeah, there he goes. Can I then move to the turret? And then go to the turret. Ow, ooh, ee, ow. Okay, that worked out. Pretty fine. I'm just gonna eat a bit. Ow, I just got shot in the face by a turret. Nothing a bit of mole rat chunks can't help, of course. Oh, what the hell was- Oh, pop, 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 paragles. Oh, and... Whoop, yeah, okay. Where the, that, that was- That flopping noise at the end, that, that just made everything better. That was- That was- Ooh. Didn't expect that. Kind of forgot that those guys actually come out of there afterwards. Oh. No, the barrel didn't come from the pipe access down below. Nobody knows I got it. Oh, hi. And it suddenly went went too hidden immediately, so I killed both of them again. Might have actually blown up. Yeah, I've blown up the extinguisher over there, so that's why. It, it that much. Empty beer bottles again, you jerks! Stop drinking all the booze. They're not even carrying any booze. Oh. Oh god. I'm in danger, but they're not actively pursuing me, I feel like. I'm just gonna head upstairs slowly. Okay, so all the way upstairs to the assembly line, which is where we need to be. Just gonna need to be careful. Because our target is right up there in the... Yeah, that thing over there. But the problem is, there's a turret 
don't know if you can see it from here. There's a turret on top of the building, which I can't reach with melee in any shape or form. But we can unlock this terminal and activate the Protectron. And there we go. Activate the Protectron. Let's just get out of the terminal and hidden again. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So there we go. The Protectron is fighting against the raiders. I'm hoping we can actually prioritize. I'm just going to stay over here until the Protectron has... Protectron isn't firing, it seems like it. Though it did kill something. St start firing, buddy. Oh no, this is not this is not going well. Oh god. Damn it. Okay, so they easily killed the Protectron with their combined fire, which means I need to do this on my own. Oh, that turret is gonna. Although there's two turrets actually, there's one over there as well. Great. And there's the guy I need to kill. Just gonna slowly make my way. That light's gonna fuck everything up, isn't it? I need to activate the button, but the button is in the light. Oh god, I'm right next to gas canisters. Okay, so the turret stopped panicking, so I should stop panicking. Okay. But once I step into the light, I'm fucked, so... That means either throwables or... Ooh, I have a plan. Let's try that out. Um, bottle cap mine over there. Turn something into caution. And then lure them over to gotcha. me. Oh god. Think, think that was going to be in the way. Is the, are they going over the the walkway? Oh god, there's a lot of enemies in here. Jared, he's the guy we need to kill. There goes another one. There's still one more raider down here as well. I'm moving all the way behind everybody here just to get a different angle on the one raider that isn't up there. But I kind of lost track of him. Should be around here somewhere. There he is. There we go. Can they fire at me from there? I don't... Oh god! Oh god. Okay. Fighting is happening. There's still a mine up there. Don't shoot through the floor. Just go. Go to where you think you can actually reach me. There's a nice surprise waiting for you there. Just gonna eat something in the meantime. Okay. Since I lost him, I think I'm gonna use the... Um, the stealth boy. One stealth boy coming up. So right now, should be invisible. Keep your eyes open. I, think this asshole's using a stealth. I am actually. So yeah, this is where I wanted to be. Oh, go. Come on, Jarrett. Get in. Oh. Yeah, just hit him. Critical. Bye. Oh, bop, 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 bop. Jesus Christ. Um, how am I going to deal with this? I can't actually hit that thing. Oh, right. And there's there's other guys entering the building. Um, let's just... I think the plan was pretty sound before. Put a bottle cap mine over there. 
eat some mud chops, and then get into the... Yeah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Just gonna wait here. There we go. That's the bottle gap my trickery. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. So there's two more. I think there's one more raider because there's one thing moving. Oop! Ow! That was a shotgun. And that's the third still firing at me. Well, at least I got out of there alive. Let's take Grognak the Barbarian. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do 5% more damage. Thank you. And I think I can use the terminal. Yes, spotlight control. Deactivate lights. Deactivate. There we go. So there go the third. So the three blips on the compass are now definitely enemies. I'm gonna chuck some more food in my face. And then this one. Bubble caps, round pipe sniper rifles and pocketed boiled leather chest piece. I think that might be better. Yep, definitely. There we go. There we go, dropped a few uh, other bits and pieces as well. Ooh, yeah, the raider who lost his legs because of the bottle cap mine. You can actually pick up the caps from the bottle cap mine again. Uh, switchblade, yeah, I have that already. I can actually sleep with three raiders underneath me. That is ridiculous. So now, I think there might be still those three raiders in the room. And if they're still in the room, that's even more ridiculous that I can actually sleep. Well, the thirds aren't gonna do anything. Does this guy have any? Ooh, he has a grenade. He had a grenade. I'm an idiot. Oh, wait, the protector. Who might? He might actually have something good. No. Crap. There's definitely. He's really jumpy. I wasn't even out of hidden, and he started firing at me. There's not even somebody on this floor. This is weird. So. Yeah, let's just leave the building then. So, the backside of Corvega. I think this is actually the first area where you can get a baseball bat. No, yeah, there. Right, see? There's a baseball bat over there if you didn't have one already from uh, Concord. Uh, so let's just unchain this. Ooh, there's a lovely storm going on outside. And yeah, a lot of raid is still alive. Although technically we've killed the guy we needed to kill. Um, there's still a bit more stuff I want to get inside of the building now that I think about it. Because we got the Corvega safe key. Might as well go and get that while we're at it. So back inside, I'm just going to go on a murder rampage. I think we're pretty well equipped to deal with these guys. Hello! There's one. Oh, turn around. There we go. We can get to the scum with two hits. And then the turret. Oh, God. Oh, he almost got me there. More mole rat chunks. So, what we're here for? The Corvega save. Right over here. It's kind of a weapon storage thingy, which should. Yeah, explosives box. A lot of rare ammo that we can't use in any way shape or fashion and then the explosives box there we go fragmentation grenade and molotov cocktail not the yeah, not that much but at least it was something okay there's another raider scum and then yeah there's another normal raider over here yeah there we go oh god one over there three more left yeah more raiders left okay fine mommy let's murder them all because this, ladies and gentlemen, is the face of a killer. Ooh, they have another bottle cap mine. Oh my god, I can blitz someone through a window. Come on, there's another one. Blam! And... Blink. Oh yes, this is awesome. I love melee builds. Or should I say I love blitz, because blitz is awesome. I just hit someone through a window. I teleported into the room with him. I think I found the last raider in Corvega. Sorry, man. I killed all your buddies. And now you're dead. <laughs> oh, he just slumped into the corner there. I'm sorry, dude. Ooh, toilets. Okay. 
I just barely avoided it. I was just happily walking around here and there was a bomb right there. Okay. Be a little bit more careful next time because that might have ended really, really badly. I just was lucky I took the left side instead of the right side because, yeah, that would have been a big kaboom. Yeah, we went in through the back. No worries about that. Let's go out through the front door. It's only natural that we come out the front door, isn't it? So there are a few more enemies up top. But I don't think they're huge. Well, they're, they're, they're worth it. They're worth the trouble. So let's just head back to Ten Pines Bluff and uh, tell the, well, the settlers over there the good news that we freed Corvega from, well, most of the raiders. Um, yeah, most of the raiders. Like this one. Yeah, my leg. So actually, for right now, it feels really, really doable to be doing this in melee and explosives only. So the only the open areas are a bit of a problem. But otherwise, Blitz really takes care of everything. So hello, Raiders. sir. You find those Raiders? Yes, we did. Um, yeah, we kicked their asses. Yeah, I kicked their asses for you. No kidding? That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. Great news. Once Thank you, man. Better. We've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. You are welcome. Uh, that doesn't actually complete the quest yet, because we need to talk to Preston Garvey about stuff. So, uh, well, the fact that we uh, just freed this settlement for the minute, man. So, uh, the good thing about Ten Pines Bluff is that this settlement is actually almost completely self-sufficient. So, the only thing they really need is a bit more defense, which this is gonna provide. There we go. A turret right in the middle of this place, which is gonna provide uh, all the defense they need. And then maybe I'm e even gonna make a, a guard post for them. An elevated guard post right over here. And then assign someone to that. Food drops a bit, but he has a gun, which should be fine. And there we go, a recruitment radio beacon added as well just needed a bit more rubber so that should uh, start well attracting certain people to this area which is fine they have plenty of water and food which is ooh, ooh, lucas miller yes thank you finally a decent merchant and he has something i really really want the champion left arm is a legendary bit of armor which grants one endurance and one strength I don't need the rests, so I'm just gonna take, yeah, I'm just gonna take the champion left arm and then just sell him a whole bunch of stuff. Because yeah, we have a lot of our ammo, so um, each bit of ammo, like for example, five millimeter is uh, worth one cap. And yeah, you can see how many ammo, I, how much ammo I actually have, so uh, let's sell the, all that. And there we go, nicely calculated to uh, round up evenly and drain him of all his caps. Thank you very much, Lucas. And then yeah, the champion left arm going on there. Thank you very much, Lucas. One strength and one endurance. So more health and more attack power. So let's nip back to Sanctuary and tell Preston the good news. Preston, my man, I have really good news. They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. Of course, because I'm the only person you can find for the job. Guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Well, you say gun, flare gun. Don't you have a flare axe or something like that? Something I can use. Oh, seriously. Yeah, there goes the experience bar, bar again. <laughs> Level up. Still going. Still going. Still going. Oh, just not leveled up. So, uh, yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? Well, we heard there were a few things. Yeah, you were there. That's right. Mama Murphy, Sturges, the Longs. They were all from Quincy. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. 
we never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? Indeed, but don't give up, Preston. Don't give up. We're here to help you. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. I'm one man just as you, Preston, but uh, thanks. Does that mean you'll do it? Sure, why not? Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen. And now Preston is available as our companion, which we'll not going right to use. You all the way, General. And you immediately promote me to General. Why are you calling me General? The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last minute man is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've gotten word about a settlement that's being threatened by raiders. So I always feel like Preston was really, really anxious about giving away that title. Because, uh, yeah, he was jumping at the bit for that one. They just called me general. Raider troubles at Oberlin Station. I kind of passed pretty close to there uh, recently, but uh, in this episode even. But yeah, right now we are. This is General Bayou Bob of the Minutemen ready for action. And uh, well, I'm going to end this episode here. It's kind of like a nice, nice place. So uh, we're back in Sanctuary after we killed, well, brutally slaughtered all the raiders in Corvega. And uh, well rescued another settlement and now we're general of the yeah firebob this smart burly man is now general of the minute man and has his base in sanctuary so thank you guys enormously for watching if you enjoyed the episode we're don't forget to like it right here on youtube and uh, when we get back we're gonna head deeper into boston i think we're gonna go deeper into the commonwealth and head straight to the heart of boston if we are capable of doing so because we're still a bit low level but uh, we'll see about that so thank you guys normally for watching and see you guys next time goodbye